hello good evening everyone so today we will take the next question of your uh, du 2022 intermediate microeconomics uh, past year theek hai 2022 mein ye question aaya tha question number 2a and today what i will do is i i'm sorry agar ye thoda visible nahi hai you can always go back on our uh, app and download this paper with the solution. But uh, I will read it out for you. Achha, aaj I will also tell you about the marking scheme. Ki, uh, faculties mark kaise karte hai is paper. Ko. So as uh, I have been telling you that, you know, I <clears throat> was a faculty with uh, Indraprasth College for Women, uh, IP College, uh, North Campus for, for about four, four and a half years. And I have checked multiple papers uh, in my um, you know, as part of my um, uh, work there. So what we will go ahead and do is uh, we will try to understand what is the way faculties check these papers. Kaise faculties ye paper ko check? It's very, very important. Okay? So let's have a look at the question better. The output of commodities X and Y as a function of homogeneous input L and K is expressed as follows. So, these are production functions. Two do, do goods. And the both good ka production function is given to you. So, the production function is given as x is equal to 2 lx under root dx. It's going to rewrite. Kar lo. You can rewrite this as 2 under root lx under root kx. And you can rewrite this as 2 lx to the power half, kx to the power half. Okay, this is your first production function. Hai. And second production function is given to you as y is equal to 4 ly to the power 1 by 3. Bilkul hi blur hai, I understand it. But, but, but we are going to make some sense out of it better. So, the second production function given to you is y is equal to 4 ly to the power 1 by 3 ky to the power 2 by 3. Ye aapka second production function hai. Thik hai ji? Now it says the endowments are given to you that lx is 50, kx is 50, ye diya hua hai, and ly is 50 and ky is 50. Ye diya hua hai. It says find the equation of production contract curve for commodity X and Y. Equation of production contract curve. This question is very interesting. Cheez hui hai. The second and third part, I will come to it soon, <coughs> had missing information. The second and third part had missing information. This is very fun. If you have missing information and you have to ask this question, kar do beta, you will get marks for whatever you write. If a student has attempted the question, because it's wrong, the question. So just for attempting the question, you will get full marks. So people who attempted this, attempted the question. Of course, you have to make some sense, but people who attempted it were given seven marks because of missing information. But first, we have the first part. We have to contract the curve, but production side say, and it came for three marks. So, you know, this three marks were divided. So, what is the equation of uh, the contract curve of production when MRTS of the first good, producing the first good, is equal to MRTS of producing the second good? This is your equation of your contract curve. Okay, right? Right? So what you have to go ahead and do in this case is that you have to write this equation, of course. Now, 
वन मार्क्स वॉज गिवन इफ यू कुड कैलक्युलेट दी एम आर टी एस ऑफ गुड एक्स करेक्ट आई एम टेलिंग यू राइट वन मार्क्स वॉज गिवन इफ यू कुड कैलक्युलेट द एम आर टी एस ऑफ गुड वाई करेक्टली एंड वन मार्क्स वॉज गिवन इफ यू कुड राइट दिस इक्वेजन करेक्टली देखो स्टेप मार्किंग कितनी बड़ी है ये दोनों करेक्ट करने पर भी यू आर गेटिंग टू आउट ऑफ थ्री और एम आर टी एस तो सबको निकालना आता है तो अगर मेरे को टू मार्क्स यहां मिल गए एंड ये सिर्फ अटेम्प्ट करने के सेवन यहां मिल गए आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्कोर्ड नाइन आउट ऑफ आई थिंक सो इट वाज फॉर ट्वेल्व मार्क्स नाइन आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व इट्स अ गुड मार्क राइट ओके नाउ लेट्स गो हेड एंड लुक एट द फर्स्ट वन सो सो बेसिकली बेटा व्हाट हैपेंस इज ऑल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन एंड नाउ व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर फाइंडिंग द टोटल इंडोमेंट ऑफ द इनपुट्स so the total labor that we have lx plus ly is 100 the total capital that we have kx plus ky is 100 right our equilibrium hamara equilibrium kahan par aata hai our equilibrium happens where mrts of good x is equal to mrts of good y now we know the formula of mrts we know the formula of mrts the formula of mrts is given by mpl by mpk to so mpl kya hai differentiate this function with respect to n mpk differentiate this function with respect to k so when i differentiate this function with respect to l my production function is this beta this So with respect to L क्या होगा यही कर देना एक बारी यही पर जस्ट फाइंड आउट बिकॉज दे आर गिविंग वन मार्क्स जस्ट टू क्लियरली फाइंड एम आर टी एस सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेक एनी रिस्क देअर सो वी विल डू इट हियर इट सेल वी विल से एम पी एल इज हाउ आउटपुट चेंजेस एज लेबर चेंजेस डिफ्रेंशिएटेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एल एंड यू विल गेट दिस MPK differentiate this with respect to K, and you will get this. MRTS निकाल लो. Find MRTS. MRTS. MPL by MPK. So this gets cancelled, and you will have. Lx to the power minus half kx upon Lx to the power half kx. This will be kx by Lx. मतलब यहाँ पे one mark secured. One mark has been secured. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now just find MRTS of the other input also to secure one more marks. So, beta MPL will be how output changes as input changes. So one by three minus one हो गया two by three. Differentiation है बस हाँ. M P K how output changes as capital changes. ठीक है. Now find M R T S. M P L by M P K. तो ये हो गया फोर इसको जब डिवाइड करेंगे ना तो ये हो गया हमारा टू इन टू के बाय ठीक है यू हैव सिक्योर्ड वन मोर मार्क्स बस अब इन दोनों को इक्वेटी तो करना है सो व्हेन यू इक्वेट इट विल बी वन बाय टू इज इट फोर बाय थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एट बाय थ्री सो फोर बाय थ्री इंटू थ्री बाय एट वन बाय वन बाय टू क्या so when you when you go ahead and you equate this is the equation that you will get now if you write only this much let me tell you if you write this equation you will get half marks more because they have understood that you know that the equation is where mrts are equal to each other but that's not the end 
in order to get full one marks, you should write only in terms of LX or in terms of LY. So if you just solve this, you will get just cross multiply 2KX LY is equal to LX KY. But we know that LX plus LY is 100. KX plus KY is also 100. So I can go ahead and solve it better. So instead of LY, I will write 100 minus LX. And instead of KY, I will write 100 minus KX. Now when I solve this, everything will be in terms of X. So if you write this equation, instead of L, Y, you have written 100 minus LX, opened this up, you get this. Instead of KY, you have written 100 minus KX, opened this up, you get this. And then you finally write this equation. Pura LY ke terms mein likho ya LX ke terms mein, it is fine. Ye bhi kar sakte the ki KX ko 100 minus KY and LX ko 100 minus LY lik do. Everything in terms of LY is fine. Everything in terms of LX is also fine. But only in terms of one commodity, when you will write that, that will fetch you another half mark. So this question here, it will give you another half mark. Aise hi checking karte hai. Stepwise hi checking ki jati hai. This is how we check papers in exam. Is this clear? Okay, now come to the second part. Second part is a little vague. I'll tell you why. It says find the market equilibrium allocation of L and K used in production of X and Y and equilibrium price ratio of L and K. Beta, we know that competitive equilibrium, agar aapko yaad ho to, ye ISO cost line hai. Ye ISO quant hai. Equilibrium happens where ISO quant and ISO cost are tangent to each other. So equilibrium happens at the tangency of ISO cost and ISO quant. So matlab, MRTS must be equated to W by R. That means price of labor by price of capital. But beta, this is not given. No? So if this is not given, I can't solve it further. I can just go ahead and say that market equilibrium takes place where MRTS is equal to WYR. So each firm will equate their MRTS to WYR. So for firm X, for firm X, MRTS was K by L, that will be equated to WYR. For firm Y, MRTS was half K by L, that will be equated to W by R. But that's it. I can't move for forward because you didn't tell me what W by R is or what W and R are. So I cannot take this further. Is this okay? That is why we will just stop it here. We will just say that this is our answer. Okay. So now what you can go ahead and do is uh, come to the third part. And the third part says, give the equilibrium level of uh, K by L ratio. Ye bolta third part. Have a look here. It says, at equilibrium level of production, find the ratio K by L. A bit of the same baat hai. The equilibrium takes place where MRTS is equal to W by R. So when I equate this to W by R, to K by L ka ratio ho gaya W by R. If in exam they would have given me that wage rate is 10, rental is 20, I would have told you that, okay, K by L should be half. If they would have told me that the same information, then I would have told you that inka K by L will be 2 by 2, which will be 1. <coughs> you know? But here they haven't given me W by R. So I cannot tell you what K by L ratio will be. I will just say that iska K by L W by R ho jega. Or kyunki iska half K by L equal to W by R tha. So K by L is equal to 2 W by R. But I can't go forward. <coughs> so if you attempted these questions, you will get complete 7 months. Right? right? Okay. Come to the last part. This is good. I liked this one. It says identify possible source of increasing RPT. This is what it says, right? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's a lot of 
it is given that production possible frontier corresponding to production contract curve derived in part A, uh, which exhibits increasing rate of uh, product transformation. That is, PPF is strictly concave to the origin. Identify the possible source of increasing RPT, and this is for two marks. Very easy. See, <clears throat> just think about this. See, with my recommend, but listen to me carefully. See, when I talk about the technology of producing X separately, I notice that when I produce only X separately, beta. X has constant returns to scale. Because X ka production function, as far as we know, was root K root L. Right? I think so there was some 2 outside. Na? Root K root L ke aage 2 tha. Yeah. 2 root K root L. Ye tha production function. And it was mentioned also that this is constant returns to scale. So if I just have lambda this and lambda L and 2 here. This will simply be lambda 2 root k root n. So this will be lambda into my original production function. So this was constant returns to scale. So doubling inputs only doubles output. Y ka bhi check kar lo, you will get same thing. It had constant returns to scale. Doubling input only doubles output. So the question is, if they have constant returns to scale, then IRT kaha se aya? It is because of the reason that the two technologies do not have the same um, ratio of the inputs. So the input ratio of K by L in technology X is not equal to the input ratio of K by L in technology Y. This is the only reason why we have um, increasing RPT. So you will write the same line likhoge, that since X and Y are under constant returns to scale and are homogeneous, the only reason why production possibility frontier is concave is because they have differing input intensities involved in production. The ratio in which input is used in X is not equal to the ratio. You have proof that the ratio in which inputs are used in X and Y are different. So because they are used in different input intensities, that is the reason why we have increasing R. Okay. Okay. Thank you.